Hi everyone and welcome to my latest video unboxing the brand new Pixel XL phone. Now as readers of my website will know, I've got reservations about the eye-watering price of this phone, but I'll still be reviewing it like any other phone just to see how good it actually is. In this video I'll also be making a brief comparison with last year's flagship Nexus 6P, comparing video recording with both, and also comparing photos with the 6P, Pixel XL and the dual camera Honor 8. The box content includes the phone, USB-C to USB-A cable, a USB on the go adapter and USB-C to USB-C cable to connect to the power supply. The on the go lead is particularly useful here as it enables you to connect to another phone and migrate your data considerably faster than using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Although once your data is migrated you'll still need to download the apps themselves from the Play Store. This and more will be covered in my separate review that will be on my website soon. It's worth noting that in addition to migrating from another Android phone, users can also migrate from iOS, although the phone will need to be unencrypted. Last year's Nexus 6P may have been a lot less expensive, but it was anything but cheap, and it still retains a level of quality that stands up well to this year's new range. Given the not insignificant price hike, some people may decide that buying the old phone gives most of the functionality and quality for around half the cost, going by the prices you can get a 6P if you shop around. With the latest version of Android currently offered on the beta for the 6P, plus the 5X and Pixel C tablet, you can see that some of the features from the Pixel have now made an appearance, although you won't get Google Assistant, Night Mode or the ability to pull down the notification window with the fingerprint reader. What you will get is an updated Google Now launcher with application shortcuts, the latest camera app, the new Google support window, an additional quick shortcut on the initial pull down menu and enhanced VR settings.
On the camera side, the Pixel XL gets the latest Sony IMX378 image sensor with improved autofocus and an electronic image stabilization system that's vastly superior to the 6P, which uses the slightly older IMX377 sensor. However, beyond that, both image sensors are 12.3 megapixels with 1.55 micron square pixels for excellent light capture day or night. I'll be testing out night photos in a later test. As you will see, the 6P is still very capable and in some tests you can barely see a difference. The Honor 8 also performs well as a phone that's even cheaper still and offers up a number of unique camera features including light effects, a super night mode that rewards those with a steady hand or tripod, beauty modes for selfies and much more. If you want to find out more, please check out my website for more in-depth reviews and subscribe here for more videos. Thanks for watching.